Today, Kevin and I are gonna be trying the Martha Stewart Kitchen Ready to Bake Apple Crisp. This is from Martha's Kitchen to Yours, a classic combination of Northern Spy apples and brown sugar with a cinnamon spiced oat topping. It, it was in the frozen section at Kroger and it was $8.99. So the directions, you have microwave directions and oven directions. Uh, we're gonna use the oven because I'm sure the microwave's fine, but things, we uh, want it to get as crisp as possible it on the top. It says for best results too. Yeah, it says for best results bacon oven. So you preheat your oven to 400 degrees uh, with the rack in the center of the oven. Remove the plastic wrapping from frozen crisp tray. Place the crisp tray on a baking sheet. Bake for 20 to 25 minutes or until center is warm and then let cool for five minutes before serving. So, yeah, most of these things, you can see that in Mark, most of these things are better when you uh, bake them. So, unless you're just in a hurry, then that's the best way. So, you take this off. And we will probably let it go. You know what? I'll probably let it go the whole 25 minutes. Uh, because Kevin likes things uh, crispy just like I do. So this is the tray. And you just lay it on your cookie sheet. And so I'm going to set a timer for 25 minutes and we'll be back. So here it is. I took it out two minutes early because I started to smell it. You know, you can start to smell things when they... Um, are getting too done, too but hot. It's two minutes from the maximum time. You're right. So it was like 23 minutes total. So here's how it looked. It did not run over the pan or anything like that. So that's good. So you, if you didn't put parchment paper or anything in the bottom, I think you'd be fine. But that's the, that's the way the apples look on the inside. Okay, this says, a tip from Martha, serve with the best vanilla ice cream, a dollop of lightly sweetened whipped cream or creme fraiche. Uh, five, yeah, that would be good. Yeah, it would be very good. Uh, five servings are in the container. One fifth piece, 130 grams, is 260 a calories. That's pretty good, though. And this is a product of Canada. Canada. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> so, Canada's baked all kinds of stuff for us. Yes, thank you, Canada. I like that the apples are cooked really well. They're 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 soft, but they're not mushy mushy. Mm -hmm. Tastes like there were some oats. They're you know that topping is oats. Yeah. Well, you see them. Yeah, I see them. Mm. I like the flavor. Uh, tastes like brown sugar and cinnamon. Mm -hmm. I, I really like the topping. The only thing is, it's a little um, soft. Oh, really? Yeah. See, I don't get that. Mine is, um, it's crisp enough for me. It, it's a little soft for me. I don't mind it at all. I think the flavor is great. But you would think that baking it in the oven, you would have the maximum crispness. Yeah. And it does not. It's, um, it's, to me, it's a little soft. I just want you to know that because knowing that uh, you could cook it in, if you make it in the microwave, just know that I don't think there's gonna be that much of a difference. I um, really don't. I think maybe the softness for you, because I'm getting a, 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 crum, a crunchy, not crunchy, but a, a firmer bite. Mm -hmm. um, I wonder what's soft, because it's like, you know, um, I wonder what's softer for you is maybe the oats. Because the oats almost have a almost a chewy texture. Chew, yes, that's what I'm but getting. But they're not crunchy; they're more chewy. But chewy, I like, yeah. But here's a bite that's that's I can feel it's crunchy. The oats are chewy. Mm -hmm. I agree. The oats aren't crunchy at all. I love it though. It's very I good. Think the flavor is wonderful. If if you like um, apple pie, mm -hmm. this is an apple pie. It's just in a square pan. Yeah. That's exactly what this is. And you don't have the bottom layer of crust. Right. It's just um, apples on the bottom. They just, they thinly sliced apples and put them all in the pan. And then they've crumbled that apple uh, uh, brown sugar mixture, yes, with the cinnamon 
on top. Yeah, I like it. It's very I, good. I could eat half a pan of this, literally. Do you think mm -hmm. it's worth $9? Um, let me ask you another question. Okay. And then I'll justify it. Okay. You know those big Dutch apple pies? Yes. The big, they're like this thick. Yeah. How much are those you see? About six? I'm thinking those are about the same price. Um, cause I would probably rather have one of those. Yes. Than this. Okay. Because the Dutch apple pies is an apple pie with a crumbly kind of cinnamon top to it. Right. Um, that, I like that better. Yes. However, because I Because you're think getting the is, crust with it. Yeah. Yeah. And, it, and it's not just, and, and this oats do make it a little chewy at the top. Right. Time. Whereas that is like a crumble, like a, a cinnamon sugar like crumble. Right. And it's crunchy on top. So exactly. I agree. I agree. Yeah, that, that brand, it's a it's a big brand. That brand is crispy. I mean, we mm -hmm. bought that because we love that crispy right. topping. So um, so I would prefer that over this. But if I, they were sold out of that. Yeah, this would be a good second yes, place. Yes, yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. And so, if those were like six dollars, there there wouldn't be any. There's no competition. <laughs> yeah, you just buy yeah. one because that. Yeah, uh, but I do think this is. I good. think it's very, very good. Yeah, yes. it's just it's a little high. You're right. So I hope you enjoyed the video. I'll have a picture for you at the end. And thanks for watching.